Today I'm going to show you how to get into medium format photography for 20 bucks with the FPP Debonair camera coming right up. So if you're thinking about getting into medium format photography but you're not sure you're going to like 120 film or the developing or scanning workflow and you don't want to commit hundreds or even thousands of dollars to trying this out, there is a cheaper way to test the waters. And that is the FPP Debonair camera from Mike Rosso and the good folks at the Film Photography Project. Now, this is not a Hasselblad or an RB67. No, it is a plastic toy camera, but it's an inexpensive, easy way to try medium format and it's a lot of fun. Let's take a closer look at the camera and check out some of the specs. First off, it comes in a nice box with some cool retro styling. You can see it takes 16 pictures in color or black and white on 120 film. So it's 645 format, and I like that it takes 120 film. You don't have to worry about re-spooling 620. Here in the tiny print in the corner, you can see it's made in Hong Kong. Beyond that, not a lot is known about the origins of the debonair. Let's open the box. So you get a very cool retro instruction sheet that does have some helpful tips in it. And there's another sheet here from Mike Rosso. Here at the top it says, talks about a soft focus image with full double exposure capability and intense vignetting known for light leaks and other fun film possibilities. Now, we look at the camera itself. Well, kind of looks like the love child of a Holga and a Diana. They've added some branding stickers here, Film Photography Project. Plastic Filmtastic 120. Uh, the Debonair badge right here is the original branding. And it doesn't have just any lens. Nope, it's got a super lens. 60 millimeter F8 lens. On top you got a hot shoe, which is nice. Shutter button here. Uh, two settings here. There's a sunny setting. And there's a cloudy setting. But unlike other toy cameras, uh, toy cameras like the Diana, the cloudy and sunny settings don't adjust the aperture, they adjust the shutter speed. So the cloudy setting corresponds to a shutter speed of roughly 1 60th of a second and the sunny setting is roughly about 100th of a second. Here on the lens barrel you can see some zone focus symbols, one person for close focus, and the instructions say that you really don't want to get any closer than about 5 feet to your subject with that. Uh, three people, a little further out, and mountains for landscapes or infinity. Again, it's a toy camera so focus is really kind of a relative term. On the back, there is a little red window so you can read the backing paper and see which frame you're on. Uh, the viewfinder is not in the center, it's offset a little bit, so there is going to be probably some parallax error. Uh, on the bottom, there's a little latch to open the camera up. And then you slide the back off. Empty spool goes over here, full roll over here. You can see that 645 mask here. Now these silver pieces keep the film in place pretty well. I haven't had any problems with fat rolls like I have with some of my toy cameras. Now that we've taken a closer look at the camera, let's check out some images.
So, not much in the way of light leaks. There's some nice vignetting. Focus is a little soft, which you would expect with a plastic toy camera. Now, I did mention that the minimum focusing distance is around 5 feet, but there is a way around that. And you could tell I was closer in this self-portrait. So, a while back, I was checking out the clearance section on Freestyle's website, and they had this little Holga brand close-up lens for $3.99. So, I picked one up, and it fits perfectly on the debonair. You set the focus on the debonair to the mountain or infinity setting, pop this extra lens on, and then you'll be relatively in focus from around 16 to 24 inches. Now, since this lens works on both the Holga and the Debonair, it was definitely worth getting, and I think it's worth getting a Debonair, too. For 20 bucks, you get to try 120 film in a 645 format. You get some nice vignetting to add interest to your images. You get 16 images on a roll. Plus, it's just fun to shoot, and you get to help support Mike Rosso and the Film Photography Project, and I can't think of anybody who's helped keep film alive over the last decade more than Mike and the gang. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And if you really like it, go ahead and feel free to share it on your favorite film photography group on Facebook. You can find links to my Instagram and Kofi accounts down in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some film.